this. You've performed over 250 gigs and you've played at a world-famous festival in front of 20,000 people 11 nights in a row. Then imagine you've done all of this by the age of 10. Hi, I'm Harry. I'm a flamenco guitarist from Canada. And I played my first concert when I was five. <laughs> Take a seat. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome to the country. Uh, is this your first time to Australia? Yes. Mm. What do you think so far? It's amazing. It's I amazing. Love it so much. What are the differences you've noticed between home in Calgary and here in Australia? Here, they don't have you know deers in parks. No. <laughs> in Australia, people. Well, I guess to us, it seems like people drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> What got you into playing guitar? My dad. You heard him playing guitar or you just... Well, people used to come into the house. Much people you knew or there's just people coming into the house? <laughs> well, people, people, I knew my dad. Is, is dad here? Yeah. So, chip off the old blocks, what we say in Australia, obviously like, like father, like son. He has more talent than I ever had. Really? Started much younger. He already plays songs that I could never play. Is that lovely to hear your dad say that? Yeah. How often would you practice? Uh, every day. Uh, three and a half hours, three hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. So, what are the different bits that make Flamingo? What is it that... Am I, is it fl I'm saying flamingo, flamingo, that's the bird, isn't it? Flamingo. Yeah, not Flamingo. No. No. Flamingo. Yeah. I'm not very good at this job, am I? <laughs> yeah. So what are the different bits? There's piccato. And then oh. there's um, arpeggio. Doesn't that just sound beautiful? <laughs> What's the fastest thing you have to play? Strumming. Very good, it's incredible. <laughs> you know when they say you know, being serenaded, when you're in a restaurant to say, I want you to come over, I'm gonna have a lady sitting down, we're gonna have a candle and some wine. You're a long way off, this is hundreds of years away. Um, and then they pay someone to come and serenade them. Have you had a chance to play for anyone and impress anyone? No. No. That's thousands of years away. <laughs> <laughs> So do you try and live a Spanish life at all? Do you eat paella and do you have siestas? Uh, no. Just no? No. Yeah. you had any rock star moments? Yeah. I was playing in a concert when I was about six or seven years old. Then I had to go to the bathroom in the middle of it. So did you literally halfway through your performance have to go, oh, actually, I'll, I'll be back in a minute, I've really got to go to the toilet, is that...? Yeah. <laughs> That's a rock star moment. Is it cool to think that your instrument can take you around the world? Yeah. They've got a photo here of you on stage. I mean, this is you rocking it out. Look at that. <laughs> Where's that? In the Calgary Stampede Grandstand show. That's a big gig, isn't it? It's 20,000 people a night for 11 nights. What's that like in front of 20,000 people? It's insane. It feels so good. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Let's hear it for Harry, hey? You want to play for us now? Yeah. Mate, you go around. When Harry comes back, we're going to hear him play the flamenco. All the way from Canada, let's hear it for Harry. 